All right, so let's talk about uh, custom fonts and the relative to parameter that we actually touched upon uh, in the last video. Um, we barely talked about it because like, you know, it's a topic that I wanted to discuss in its own uh, video. So basically, uh, Swift UI supports dynamic fonts. Dynamic fonts are basically uh, helps with the accessibility um, where like, you know, you can uh, change the uh, font size by scaling um, them up or down. So basically during the accessibility, you can actually scale the font up and I'll show you how actually you can do it uh, inside the simulator as well as inside the phone. Um, but for that, let's go ahead and put together this um, this example where like, you know, I have uh, three text views. So I have one that has uh, Pacifico. Uh, that's actually our custom font that we have included from outside. Chalk Duster, that's actually a pre-installed custom font. Okay, both of them have size 42 and our regular uh, WTG text uh, with no styling. So I'm going to put a font for title and uh, we're going to make all these relative to title. So we are saying that these fonts are these sizes and fonts are relative to title. So as the title uh, is going to grow, uh, these are going to scale according to that. So this title for the regular font represented by 42 points in uh, Chalk Duster and 42 points in Pacifico. Okay. And just for the variation, you can change that too. So I'm going to change this to 36. All right. With that change, um, because Swift UI actually supports uh, dynamic font, we don't have to do anything else to um, basically support these uh, scaling properties. So let me show you how this works first. So I'm going to run the project. Okay. And uh, I'm going to actually make this small so we can actually see the project here all right so when you're looking at the project here uh for the simulator you can click on the settings turn on the dynamic type okay as soon as you turn on the dynamic type you see this dynamic scale view and you can change the scale to see how this text is gonna look like with accessibility excel accessibility largest text so as you can see the font is scaling according to like you know really in in relation to the title font itself okay so we are decreasing this and uh, this actually will show how when user actually have like you know large font enabled uh, how your app is gonna look like or how your app titles or text views are gonna look like uh, within the um, within their setting so I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to show you how user does it. So if you go onto your settings and uh, go to um, your phone's accessibility setting, so accessibility, okay, uh, you're going to see display and text size, basically settings for those two. All right, you go to large accessibility size, just enable that, okay. Now go back into your font and you're gonna basically see no difference right now but let's go ahead and increase this so we're gonna make it really big all right and what we should see is basically this accessibility to change let me go ahead and rerun this uh, so the new setting is applied let's see our app still supporting that all right is there any override? Let me see. Let's check it out. Um, no difference. All right. What's so going on? Let's rerun. Okay. All right, um, well, I don't know what's going on there. Maybe some bug in the simulator, but yeah, essentially as user increases the size, our font should increase the size as well. Just like, you know, what you saw when you had this 
guy uh, controlling the dynamic size it's the same thing basically controlling the dynamic size okay so if I put it back um, to like you know um, different setting it should actually take effect um, so I'm gonna put everything as a normal and this is what your normal text view is gonna look like so once again uh, the relative to parameter is basically there for you to control the uh, relationship like you know when the text is gonna scale in which relation it's gonna it's gonna scale to okay so it can uh, and and it also depends on the font type itself some fonts scale less with the given like you know relation um, due to their inherent uh, glyph properties and some fonts uh, grow large okay so, but this is how you actually can control the dynamic uh, dynamic text using relative to for the uh, for the font property and uh, using custom uh, fonts okay that was it for this video thanks again for watching i'll see you guys in the next video